Um, I'm streaming the slideshow if anybody who hasn't got it handy. So, welcome to Operation Weed Whacker. And you'll see the reason for the name in a minute. So, we are now in uh, local time of 16.40. We are on day two of our seed operations. Those who have been here recently will know we've seen mixed success. Multiple SAMs and, and, and um, AAA systems have been degraded around Belgrade. But the newly arrived ELINT J-STARS has now revealed multiple high-threat SAMs in and, in and south of Belgrade. We've also attrited Belgrade's air assets, but taken a lot of casualties doing it. So their fighter threat from Belgrade itself is eliminated. The bomber force, thank goodness, is reduced. We saw a lot of um, backfires and bears recently. But there are several flights of flank flankers still airborne, about half squadron strength, and we could get hit from the southern flank from Zgenica. Weather's clear. The mission today will be NOE seed attacks um, against SA-17s, 10s and 11s, and we'll go flight by flight shortly. Uh, with a three-ship Tarkat trying to help. Desired end state is IAD's coverage of Belgrade South Sector degraded or destroyed so we can then get to work on the ground uh, assets of the enemy. So, air threats. There's a diagram in a minute. But basically, that their ground threats will be the South Sector IADs. There'll be known SA-10, 17s, 11s and AAAs. Possibly pop-up SA-8s and 15s. Uh, there'll be NOE operations avoiding urban areas and roads. Well, obviously, these things will be concentrated. Uh, the fine detail of that will be discussed in your flight briefings. So, as you can see, um, the operation commences at 1710 local. All flights will descend NOE at steer point four, with the exception of Tarkat. We can't help you much down there. Uh, the sea flights, the idea is to clear the airspace within the Belgrade, IADS, WES. There's moderate terrain fleet features. Low-level flight is authorised at or below 50 AGL to break SAM line of sight only. Other than that, try and stay above 50. So by flight, Cyborg 7 is going to do destructive seed se on the SA-10. Their time on target is 17.33. Then we come to Jaguar 7. Now, Jaguar 7, you will have to uh, monitor and cooperate directly with Mud Hen 7 because your task is to reduce the AAA, SA-8 and Shorad threat for Mud Hen 10s, for Mud Hen 1s follow-on attack against the 17s at the Binker Nuclear Research. You're on station at 17.30. Mud Hen 1, you're on destructive seed at the SA-17 as we mentioned. It says time on target 15.36. I take that means 17.36. So there should be a six minute spacing between you. So if you need to alter your timings, do it direct, and I only need to know secondhand, so don't come through me for that. Plasma 5, we'll be trying to do tar cap on the green track. Uh, obviously, we're trying not to get dragged to far off threats, so we're on call for you guys, but be prepared. You may have to do some fighting or retrograde till we're free, judging on the amount of threats we got last week. Satan 4, your destructive seed on SA-11 on the city of Pranyani. Again, time on target, 17.31. So it looks as this, again, time on target for the tar cap should be, it says 15.24, but I'm taking that as 17.24. We'll try and get at 20, 25,000 feet, keep a watch on everything. Moving on. Okay, contracts. So any seed, take that deed, flight lead. If you're unable to clear the airspace within Sam Wes, you just call safety. And then I'll have to say plane mate to try and to try and help you if you're too defensive, if we can. Tarcap or escort flight leads can call castle if you're defensive and you're retrograded for your designated area due to bandit factor. And other call signs will try and play mate if they can. So obviously the warning for you guys is if for any reason the target has to call out castle it could mean you're on your own and also flight leads egress i'll need to know as you egress the sector i know last week i think kraus i had to leave you behind because we were all bingo and winchester at the same time part of the fun so ground ops um 
action will be landing package discretion, but if ATC goes down, switch to guard on UHF. I think we had to do that last week. I don't know what's wrong with the ATC there. It's lazy. So air to air, I can deal with that on the, well, for everybody actually, commit range is 35. Certainly vid, BID required over target IPs. So capture a tally required for all engagements. For BVR, for the target mainly, that's negative uh, mode four. And one of the following, AWACS hostile or capture a tally of bandit. Ground ROEs, which again, you'll go over in your flights, but after steer four, that's the SA-10's WES, get NOE, then it's hunt to killer tactics. And I won't try and brief those because I'll leave that to flight leads because you'll all have your own way you want to do it. Again, just the air threat reference, watch out. The similar F-4s, uh, F-16s from Greece, if they're still about. Possible mirages and... I haven't seen any tornadoes, but they look a bit like SU-24s and possibly SU uh, MiG-23s. So basically, we'll be taking off as usual. Um, obviously, there won't be any door open commands because you'll be going straight in for your targets. But I just need the two flights, which are Jaguar and Mud Hen. You must work together. Do we have to? <laughs> well, I, I know it's Boondock Saint. So Boondock Saint, if you could just avoid going off in the middle of Belgrade, chasing everybody. <laughs> Look, they deserved it. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's always off about twenty miles off, right in the worst place you could possibly be. I have a question. Say, um, uh, there is an SA six uh, just southeast of uh, Tempel Four. Is is that SA six active? Yes or no? Because I don't see in straight flush uh, in that SA6, but it is still uh, pretty operational. Where is this? What, where is it's it? southeast of Tumpil 4. I was steer uh, No, without the straight flush, it shouldn't be shooting at you. Okay. Then the second question, and that is probably uh, for Cyborg flights. We still have those two SA-17s uh, downtown Belgrade. Are they active or not? Yes. Because nobody is uh, prosecuting those. No, but I think you've been told to keep out of urban areas. What their range? Yeah, you, you, you're going to be have to be low. You'll be inside their uh, envelope the entire time. Yes. Um, exactly. Uh, yep. Yeah, you'll so you. It, but there is plenty of terrain to mask behind. Like it's not super tall mountains, but if you're low, uh, I don't expect that to be a factor. I would expect the SA fives to launch at you, um, because that has line of sight to the uh, to the uh, IP. Uh, but it's pretty pretty minimal threat as long as you maneuver a, a, even a tiny bit uh, it's pretty unable to attack you yeah so if you can't handle something let us know and if we've got another seed or d flight that's uh, killed its assigned targets and got weapons left they can help but it's um the only thing i'm not uh, sure about is whether comms will be degraded by flights at noe Jen, the train's not that extreme Okay, fine, that's right, just in case that gets a bit hairy. So, I, any other questions? Yeah, um, can we talk about the contracts for a second? So, um, yep. I don't quite understand safety. So, seed, yeah, flight defense, that, seed flight defensive and unable to clear airspace within Samwes, and then other action, other flights respond with playmate and support, or, ret or package retro. It's the same as engaged defensive, I guess. So why would the package retrograde if I don't understand this? Like, I don't see what, what you're supposed to actually do here. Can we run through, like, a, can you walk through an example? Uh, well, I'd assume that's you pull out. You can't, you have to pull out at least temporarily, which is the case I was just saying, that you need help to prosecute. I, I think that's a, a copy-paste error, actually. Uh, or at least the, the, retro, the whole package retrograding towards home plate. Um, sorry. Yeah, I just expect you to retrograde temporarily, and if you want to recommit, we'll see yeah. So it should be retrograde steer four, uh, and then ask for help. Sorry, that, that flight retrograding towards steer four. My bad. Okay, and then I call in and see if any other flight can uh, playmate. Not plasma five because I can't help you on D. So just so I understand, I'm I'm calling this. So flight defensive and unable to clear airspace within Samwes. So this this has to do with bandits. 
Is that what this is? Yes, about? yes, yes. I was absolutely. Okay, I took it to be ground threats. No, so the the concept is like the tar cap is there uh, to provide support, but um, if you know if like the tar cap is not going to be able to fly in at high altitude and help out uh, the tar the the over the target area. So if the seed flights need to go in and clear any bandits uh, ahead of them, uh, and if they're unable to do so, then they need to retrograde towards tier four and uh, call safety. And then in which case I'll have to make the call whether we descend to low level to try and deal with it. But obviously once we're down at low level, we can't help with much else. So is is it so it says other flights respond with playmate. So is that really the really we're talking about the escort responding with playmate? Right? That sounds really uh, es escort or, or of another flight is available to help them. Um that's currently conducting deed operations is able is able to switch then um, th that can also work. Okay. Yeah. It just depends on the threat. You, yeah. So what you're saying is you cannot do your individual mission unless you get help of some sort. So you may have to orbit at four so someone can help. So it's the seed flight is engaged offensive bandits and... and it, you need help. Yeah. And it's only... needs to come bounce them out. Okay. Yeah. So either the plasma's got to come and help you, or as you say, if we've got another seed flight that's uh, that's free. Okay. That's got the only it. way that's going to work, isn't it? But it's going to be too dynamic to be actually uh, too cast iron about it. Yeah, I just want to make sure I know when to use that contract. Yeah. All right, I'm good. More questions? If everyone's good, then I would suggest we probably do IVC now before breaking up to our flights, and that gives people more time to sort IVC issues out. Yep. Okay. So we're Cyborg 7, uh, four ship. We have four by AIM 120s, uh, a pod, HTS, and two tanks, um, two MAVs. So our mission is to destroy the SA 10. That is traveling between Steer 6 and... It's moving from Steer 7 to Steer 6, and its destination is Steer 6. So it's on the road there. If you look northwest Steer 6, you'll see it on the road. It's motoring towards Steer 6, where it's going to set up um, a position. So, um... That, that's our mission. Okay, so here's the game plan, okay? Um, we're going to go... Um, we're going to fly in at medium altitude. We'll establish at Steer 4, and then we'll push Nap of the Earth. Um, we'll be in a uh, trail formation separated by 10 miles between the elements. Um, we'll push to Steer 4. NOE will go to Steer 5, staying Nap of the Earth. Note on the ingress, there is uh, the remnants of some AAA battalions that are going to be to our southeast that could have man pads in them. We're going to avoid that area. We're going to keep our head on the swivel, push past the uh, wezes that are there, and get to Steer 5. Steer 5 will be our IP. Then we'll do an attack onto the SA-10 at Steer 6, which I'll brief in a fighter-to-fighter -fighter brief um, in a second. Um... The alternate target will be, or once the SA-10 is is suppressed or destroyed, um, we may attack the SA-17s that are active in Sarajevo, also from Steer 5. Um, we'll do that until we're out of weapons, or or we or we we're at the end of our vulnerability period, and then we'll RTB. So that's the high level plan. Uh, we'll egress out NOE to Steer 4, go up to medium altitude, and then return to base. Um, that's the high level plan. I'm going to go over uh, fighter brief for attacking um, the SA-10 at Steer 6. So if you recon Steer 5, um, get a good look at the IP, you'll see that there is a prominent ridge there that will mask us from Sarajevo and mask us from the SA-10. Um, what we'll do is um, we'll do a, a trail attack with a 10-mile separation by element, um, as previously briefed. 
uh, where we'll do uh, shooter cover, shooter cover with um, a harm fired by the lead in um, pre-brief mode followed by a maverick sort using the targeting pod and um plasma 5 one ibc gotcha gotcha five by five um i love you chris so it'll be will be uh sorry the weapons will be ma uh, harm fired in pre-brief on the position then maverick onto the target um the timing will be separated by element spacing, so it'll be like 30 second spacing. Um, ingress will be from Steer 5 northeast. Egress will be west, um, back to Steer 5. Um, while, while the shooter is up, I want the cover guy to be ready to fire a harm at him. Like, they're going to just be waiting. Uh, finger on the trigger, ready to fire a harm at the 10. Um, and looking for any air threats or, or launches. Um, but you're not going to fire unless there's an active track or um, the lead reports Singer 10 or, you know, um, or if the lead tells you to, to fire. Um, so just fly cover, be prepared to fire um, on the on the SA-10. If we come off without needing that, then just we'll reset. The other element will be in hot by that time. They'll be in the pop doing the attack. And then um, the first element will then come back into the IP, pop up, and attack until the site is, uh, until the the big bird and the fan, uh, the flap lid are destroyed. Um, once that attack is complete, then we'll do another. We'll we'll do like the exact same thing, but we'll for attacking the SA-17 to the north, unless <laughs> unless the guys to our south need help, in which case we'll. We'll do that. Pretty much, the, I think we can do the exact same thing. Let me just recon what it looks like from the south from that IP. Yeah, so that's actually even better. Um, using Steer 5 as an IP is even better, except we'll ingress um, southeast and come off northwest. Yeah, so it would be coming in uh, southeast, coming off... R actually, I want to... Yeah, we'll be coming off left and then returning back to Steer 5. Um, one other thing I want to brief is I want to treat all the urban centers east of Steer 5 as restricted as restricted airspace. We don't know what's there. There could be MAMPADs, SHORADs, AAA um, defending the installations to the east. Like, there is a radar station there. Um, there are some urban centers. Like, let's treat those areas as a restricted airspace um, and try to avoid them if we can. If you cross over a bridge or a river, you know you've gone too far. Um, try to come off and uh, and abort that abort that uh, attack. Come off dry. Roll back to the IP. Um, any questions on the fighter brief or overall plan? Uh, yes. Um, egress to the west over the AAA or to the to the, uh, the southwest back to IP five. So you're gonna make a left. You're, you're gonna make mm -hmm. a left uh, base return and then return to steer five. So you might enter okay. that AAA wes. Um, okay. And that is unfortunately the the cost of doing business right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you want us to uh, fly the arm in POS mode, correct? At the SA10, which may be mobile. No, it's well. It will likely be at steer six. So when we do the pop, um, the the shooter, the first shooter, which would be myself. Um, I'm going to fire in POS mode in Ruck um, at Steer 6. That's a self that's a self protect missile so that if the thing turns on, I don't immediately die, right? Because I'm popping up, I'm firing it defensively so that if it's there, it doesn't kill me, right? All right, uh, just one more thing. Uh, you want the leads then to shoot a harm on the, uh, the second guy to... I'm a bit confused because if the lead guy fires a harm and then he goes to kill the uh, thing, we could possibly consider having the harm impact at the time where we are with the other person who's with Mavericks. Yeah. That might be uh, to consider. Because if the element is 10 miles away behind you, if I shoot my harm at the time that you're going to hit the target, that might cover you better than you shooting your own missile. Um, 
I mean, I don't want you to pop up at the same time as us, though. So, like, I, I want you to okay. be masked um, until you don't have to be masked. So, if it wasn't obvious from the package level briefing, there's multiple overlapping strategic Samwezes here. So, there is um, three SA-17 Wezes overlapping this airspace plus the SA-10 if it turns active. So, that's a lot of air defense. We don't. We want to, like, pop up quickly, um, fire a harm, um, then switch to Mavericks, try to find the flap lid, kill the flap lid, and then come back down. Um, if that's all done by the first pop, then great. Um, but if it's not done by the first pop, then you're going to be in. You're going to be doing the exact same thing until we kill it. Okay. Um, just one question, please. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, lead goes in. Um, wingman follows. Lead pops up. Wingman pops up with him and uh, finger on the trigger. Then lead fires his, his own harm. Yep. Preemptively, then fires his Maverick. Yeah. While wing, while Wingman stays um, behind him and and like covers him if if anything pops up in between. Yes. Okay. And you know after we do the one. Once we do the attack and we kill the flap lid, then we might switch roles. But this is the, this is until the flap lid is dead. Okay. Yep. And if there's an actively tracking flap lid, just fire. Don't even ask anyone for permission. If there's, if you're getting a tracking flap lid tone, just fire the the harm. Don't wait for anyone to tell you what to do or whatever. Okay. Uh, the lead will carry Mavericks. The uh guy in the element will only carry harms everyone has two mavericks and one harm because you know i'm still not proficient with like mavericks so i would prefer harms okay probably. that's fine i'll give you two harms thanks there, there you go so uh one more question please mm -hmm. uh like uh, if if you go in um you fire preemptively like pre-briefed mode yeah but for the for for wing it's better to stay in in um hid mode isn't it or i don't like, care what yeah. mode you use as long as you're okay, doing cool. what i say yeah as long yeah, as, okay. as, as like i'm gonna fire in pos because that i don't have to think about it i just yeah, like, yeah. select the steer point and fire um but now i actually if apex is gonna carry two harms we're gonna modify this plan a little bit um so apex when we do the pop um, I want you to fire the the harm, and I'm just going to focus on Mavericks in, when we pop up. Copy. So, Ruck POS and just fire preemptively at the Steer, steer six. 6. Yeah, Ruck POS on Steer 6. Make sure you select the flap lid, like the 10, and Ruck shot on Steer 6. Uh, I think this, this actually is a better plan. Yeah, I agree. Because it's uh, very much to do, like, fire the harm concentrate on your on your maverick um uh, let's um let's do the elements uh the, the wingman the harms and element lead and flight lead mavericks maybe better that's that's fine I'd try that that's fine but also could we could we take maybe because i'm i'm comfortable with mavs but i think i'm probably better off using cpu 87s unless they're moving actually forget it uh well, this they're is not, summer they're well, they're not going to be moving by the time we get there. They're going to be stationary, probably. Oh, in that case, I feel more comfortable doing a pop-up cluster bomb attack. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dangerous guy. <laughs> that's uh, right, that's right. not going to work out too well. Is um, it not? <laughs> no, there's multiple 17 wet... Like, are you guys seeing the... All right, I'm going to... Let's start from square one, and let's start with the, the threat analysis of this area, right? So there's... Two SA-17 battalions inside of Sarajevo that is yep. northwest of Steer 5 by, like, 15 miles. And they're, they're going to be – you're going to be ingressing into that WES, which means it's, it's going to incentivize them to fire on you. Um, uh, I mean, if you if you wanted to do that um, – no, you convinced me. <laughs> I mean, if you can't use Mavericks, then that's a, then we shouldn't give you Mavericks. But no, I can't use Mavericks. I just don't like them. But it's cool. I I accept the point that I don't want to pop up for too long. Well, I mean, we can you, we can probably do what you're saying, but I'd I'd uh, I'm just trying to think of what, what that would look like. Um, uh, let me think about this. 
because I don't want us to be like we don't know what's in those urban centers to the east. There, there could be like I would put an IP by that bridge and you would attack from the bridge. Um, but I don't know what's over there. There could be a fucking SA-15 just sitting on top of the radar installation there, uh, the on on Zanja radio tower. There could be like SA-15 there. You could just try to do that, pop up, and immediately get shot from an SA-15. Like I don't know what's over there. Um. Yep. Okay. My picks are fine. I mean, I sort of like the idea of like doing that, but I don't know. It's just. Also, one question. Are we taking a jumper pod not no. deliberately? Are we not taking a jumper pod for deliberately for against enemy aircraft? It's useless in this mission. It, okay. it won't help us at all because all these systems have home on jam. I was wondering about enemy aircraft. Nah, eh, it's fine. We don't need it. I'd rather just lose some drag. Um, there, there so should... let's do the... Oh. Yeah. So, like, so we need to be really clear um, what our plan is. I don't want to, like, have confusion on what the plan is. So if we want to... If, if you want to use CBUs, we can probably do that. Um, let me just give you CBUs. Um, do you all... I don't, yeah, Hoover, can you use... Or do you want to use Mavericks? Yes, I can, but I, I think it's better if, if Friday concentrates on the bombing or the Mavericks and I just concentrate on the, on the harms. Okay. It's it's like less workload and, and... Yeah, what happens if you get shot down or you're defensive? Yeah. Meet me. It's going to still four and you guys can go in. All right, I'm going to give... I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give you four CBUs, eighty sevens, um, fruity, okay, yeah. and I'm gonna give Hoover two harms. Okay. Sweet. Um let me just double check his loadout. This triple A battalion to the west isn't showing any map path, so that's kind of nice. Just got to be careful of any uh, unknown battalions in that area that might shore at us. Okay. Um... Alright, so... Let's let's do the fighter brief again. I'm gonna have to make another IP as well because that IP is not gonna be good for you. Um, doing a pop up attack. That's not even a really good IP. It's like steer six. Um, yeah, you're gonna be rolling. You're gonna be coming off right into that triple A battalion though. Um, yeah. I mean, just just be aware you're likely to be shot down in this. Um, I wouldn't do this attack style if it was me, but um, we can do this. It's fine. Um, sure. I accept the risk. <laughs> yeah. So, or maybe maybe I can just maybe I'll just have you. Maybe maybe you could just pop up and kill a triple A there. Let me see what the triple A's doing. No, they're all scattered around. You won't really be able to do a good pop up attack. They're all scattered out and defensive. Well, there's there's some groupings. All right, let's let's try this. Uh, I'm gonna make a final call on this. So, um. We'll have two IP, steer five and steer six. Um, oh man, that's gonna be so dangerous. Let me let me just put a. Uh, I just want to put an SA fifteen Wes over there just to see what that would look like if it's there. Okay, so if there's an if there's an SA-15 on that urban center to the east of Steer 6, that would be the edge of that WES where Steer 6 is. Um, so yeah, the only way to attack this, if there's a 15 there, 
would be to literally overfly the AAA battalion when you're egressing. And I can't think of any other way to do that attack. Um, I guess we could move it so you overfly it on final and then you egress to the right. Like this sort of craziness, like that might work, I guess. But then I don't know what direction the battalion's gonna be lined up either. Um, yeah, then you have to fly. You're gonna be flying over that AAA. It's gonna be shooting right under you. All right, let, let's let's go with this. I, where the IP is, that's what that's what you'll use. You'll use tier six. And come off IP for the AAA. And come off left. What? Is that for the triple A? Series no, six inbound for no, triple A? No, for the flap lid, for the SA ten. Roger. And then it's still zero five for the SA seventeen as a secondary. Um you're not attacking the seventeen with fucking CBUs, that ain't gonna happen. But um you can attack the You can attack the triple A from that IP. Uh, but you're, there's no way I'm gonna let you attack it's uh, SA seventeen with a CBU. That's that's literally a suicide mission. Um, that is flat. That's a flat approach. Um, question is, should I give you... So you have a lot of drag, so that's the next thing. I'm... Here, I'll take off your HTS. You're not going to need that with this with this crazy configuration. Why do I not see the... Okay, your HTS is gone. That... You still have 270 drag, but whatever. I guess that's... That's going to be you. Yeah, Apex and Hoover are going to have, like, extremely low drag. They're going to be 211. Ooh, ooh. So you mm -hmm. should feel like you're almost in a clean jet. I can take two CBU 87s if you really want. It's it's up to you. You're the, you're the one doing the craziness. It's up to you. Yep, I'll take two. I'll be more maneuverable and more agile, so I'll do that. Yeah, plus, plus less assets to lose in case he gets splashed. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking that way, but sure. Do you want... So it's your call. Do you want two or four? Uh, two will do fine. Okay. Yeah, so in that case, you really got to save those bombs for a flap lid. Can I take my HTS back? Yeah, let me add, let me add that back. Okay, you got HTS now. Thank you. All right, cool. So um, let's go over the modified plan. So we're gonna have two. We're gonna have two um, attacks. We'll have the first attack, which will be by myself and Apex. I'll pop up exactly as briefed. Apex will fire a harm in pre-brief mode on Tier Seven. I'll try to find the flap lid um, and kill it with a Maverick, and then I'll come off west to the IP, which would be Tier Five. Um, you guys are 10 miles in trail when I'm popping up. You'll be passing, you'll be passing steer five and then running to steer six and then doing a pop up from steer six. Um, and yeah, trying to find it and then coming off left. So that's the plan. And then you might, you should probably return to steer five and then run back to steer six for a reattack if you have to. I wouldn't try to re-attack from Steer 6. Any questions? No. Nope. So I should I should pop up uh, as uh, at the same time as you pop up, stay relatively close, and fire the harm in uh, Ruck at Steer 7. Yeah, as soon as we pop up and we clear that terrain, you should be firing the harm, or like waiting three seconds or whatever and then firing the harm. Just be ready to fire it. You know, I don't want to get shot by an SA-10 in the face. That's your 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 job is to make sure that doesn't happen. Copy. Um. All right. Any other questions? And that is that is ruck mode, just to be specific. You can use what I would. If it was me, I would use ruck. That's what I would use. Okay. But you can. Use, I just want to make sure that works. So. It definitely works. I use it all the time, and it gets the best results in my experience because it just finds the nearest SA-10, in a really wide band, and then it will hit. It'll track and kill it. So, um, it works well if you don't know the exact position of something.
Okay, and that is that is pretty much leaving out the HTS as a whole and just work with the harm weapon page. That's what I would do. If you want, you can use the had. Just make sure you are ready to fire when we pop. Like, to me, I would if it was me flying, I would do, I would do a ruck shot in PV in in pause mode. But you can do whatever you want. Copy. Just make sure you fire. I don't want to. I don't want to hear. I can't find it on the on the HDS or you know like that's the last thing I want to hear when I'm popping up. I want I want to hear. And, you and it will be the last thing you hear. I want it yeah, exactly. I want to hear Magnum, Magnum ten steer seven. That's what I want to hear. Like two seconds after we pop up and we're at altitude. Copy. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh. Last thing is like. We're on Victor 15, we're Wingman Tacan, so 15 X-Ray, 78 X-Ray, 78 Yankee, 15 Yankee. Anything else or can we get going here? Uh, choke up, Ingo. No, uh, it's like 4,000 pounds, we'll just use both. Bingo's like 3,000, Joker's like 4,000. Okay. We have a modern line for fighters. At DOR. Yeah, so if we get bounced uh, east of Steer 4, we'll drag them to Steer... If we get bounced east of Steer 4, we'll drag them to Steer 4. We'll get up to medium altitude, and then we'll set up a grinder. Um, the commit range is going to be 35 miles. The MAR will be 25 miles. Uh, 4, 3, just uh, do a sorting. So, 4, uh, if I'm the range split, I'll engage lead, you engage trail. And uh, as in a split, I'll engage left, you engage right. Stick to my right. Stick to your right, trail, and right. All right. Okay, let's do this. Let's jump up. All right. Um, Back. we're good to go. So, um, we've decided um, Boondock's going to take over if I go down for package lead. Okay. So, do you want to do recipes or take the break first? Hold this on. squadron is a laughing stock. <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Cyborg 7, 4 ship, F-16s, request taxi. Good evening, Cyborg 7, you are number one for departure. Taxi, whiskey, Charlie, in and hold, short, runway 1, 2. Cyborg 7, 3, Cyborg 7, 1, ready to check. Cyborg 7, 3, Victor, check. Alright, let's, uh, let's taxi. Uh, just fence in on the ground. This is a pretty uh, extreme AO. Two taxi. Three taxi. Four taxi. Sentry 7, Cyborg 7 1. Request adventure to threat. I'm getting spiked by an MC4 here. Yeah, that's not an SA4, that's an F4. Let me, I'm going to switch on to strike. Hold on, that might be a Greek F4. Sentry 7, Cyborg 7-1. Seven, Request venture to threat. Cyborg 7, Sentry 7, nearest threat. Bullseye 2, 6, 3, 1, 6, 1, 21,000. Cold, hostile, contact ID as MiG-23, Singleton. Well, well, the AWAX thinks that it's uh that it's not a bandit. Cyborg seven four ship F sixteens ready for departure. Cyborg seven old short. All right, uh, we'll do a two-ship departure. I think that these, uh, I think that these A-10s are on final, maybe. Cyborg, seven. Position and hold, runway one, oh, two. Never mind, position and hold. All right, lead's taking active right. Two active left.
One, break left. Cyborg, seven. Expedite departure incoming traffic. Two. Lead's rolling. Or lead's rolling. Two's rolling. Element line up. Three left, four right. Four. Elements rolling departure. Three rolling. Four. Two I one. Cyborg, seven one. Contact departure. Okay, one's out of the burn. Uh, check uniforms six. Two. Sentry 7, Cyborg 7 1, request venture to threat. Cyborg 7, Sentry 7, nearest threat. Bullseye 2, Check, 1, uh, 9, 1, 2. 1, 0, 21,000. Hostile, contact Wait. ID as SU 35. Wait, say speed. Uh, Mach 0.5. Check right to heading uh, one five zero. Okay, um, two, you're sorted on the trail. Bullseye uh, two two six for one seven. Elements flow three zero zero. Two sorted. Elements flow three zero zero. Let's go in the note. Let's go in the burn. Get some altitude. Four, slow three zero zero. Cyborg seven, uh, engaged offensive two three zero for one one seven twenty thousand strength two two twenty seven. Two's ready. Where is it? Right, I'm not going trail. Is it a four ship? One Fox three crank right. Fox three two three three for one six nineteen thousand. Two mad dog. Three cover. Uh, th uh one Four. off. Cheap shot. Three four turn off default sorting. One Fox three medium. Two flow steer two. Cyborg 7, Sentry 7, nearest threat. Rob 1, 3, 0, 2, 2, 17,000. Hostile, contact ID as Sue 35, 2 ship. Get my area swivel. Jackal 7 in the air. Sentry 7, Jet 1, 7, 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 6, Jet 1, 7, 1, Sentry 7, contact is friendly. 3 engaging left target, cranking left. Okay, one's in from the... one's in from the west. 3, Husky, out. 7, 4, group, bullseye, 2, 3, 8, 4, 7, 4, 3, pinball. Four, 
Radio check. Entry, yeah. Four. 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 Fox 3 medium. Summer 72, Fox 3 long, 239, 117, Angel 19, right hand. Altitude. 2, Angel. What are we still targeted? Uh, let's retrograde, uh, 320. Entry. Retrograde. 71, 71, bullseye, 2, 4, 3. Let's retrograde, 320, climbing Angel 15. 2, gauge defensive, 243, 116, uh, Angel 11. Element turn hot. Four. Uh. Two, continue flowing three two zero. Three two zero. Uh, two check left. Uh, ten degrees. Three. Uh, three clear or six. Three four zero. Two. Wait. Four. Cyborg seven splash two Su thirties. Package well done. Uh, there was some hold ups on the base. We have had to go round. So tar cap is uh, airborne. Three good ships. Jaguar 7 up, three good human ships, one AI, Oaks, coming back in. Alright, uh, check right for steer 4. 2, Wait. 4. So package has Cyborg and Jaguar up. Uh, you can do, you can do trail now. Four, SOS scan low, three, SOS scan high. Say again. Four, SOS scan low, radar low. Copy, scanning low. Stand by, I'm bored side of my maps. Uh, I'm stripping right to bore site. Check back to tier four. Plasma five, cyborg seven. 
Send for flight. Request uh, Rolex plus three. Uh, Roger that. Okay, package. Uh, I've got two flights to Mudhen and Satan to report in, but Rolex plus three. Four good ships. Copy Rolex plus three. Uh, someone was just locked, but uh, uh, I'll close my call sign. And then Satan F. Satan. Thank you, Satan, for uh, checking in two good ships. Uh, copy Ross, plus three. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, I'm just checking it now. Okay, package. We are we are go or flight airborne. Jaguar 7 to package, be advised, we're heading back to Sierra 3 to meet the Rolex time. We're at Angels 20, avoid collision. Uh, you want Rolex again? Negative, I'm trying to meet the Rolex, I'm ahead of the whole package. Okay, roger that. I'm just wagging wheeling real quick. Okay, but uh, you ahead a bit doesn't matter quite so much as long as you've got separation from my tent. Copy that, I got them on that only. Yeah, Boone, if you have another couple extra minutes of playtime, wouldn't it be the worst thing in the world? Yeah, copy that. I'm going to go ahead and press then. I'm headed to the airport. Yeah, package Tarcat's a bit ahead of um, Rolex, so we'll be on station early, but we'll advise. Flanking. We'll monitor. 
last one, Jaguar. Be advised, they just turned nose hot to us. Near steer four, how copy? Copy, we're monitoring uh, will commit if they keep coming in. Copy, we're going to press with target then. Pretty sure those are bombers. Hello, to level angels 22. All right, uh, prepare for dive. We're gonna target uh, Cherubs three. Two. Three. Four. Uh, three. Just don't uh, don't dive until you're about five miles away from the steer point because there was some mud southwest of the steer point. Wait. Do, just do an aggressive dive. Copy. Remember, those always feed your weapons. Let's uh, idle throttle, roll we over, uh, 30 degrees nose down. We will not be engaging. Two, are you with me? Two and trail. right for the IP. Uh, check harm power. Check harm power on. One, say speed and bounce away, please. Um, just going mill power, I'm probably gonna hold like 500 knots, 520 knots, something like that. Two snap left, 11 o'clock, slightly high traffic. Uh, offset uh, five degrees. Two, 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 two. Okay, mud, mud, shilka, left eleven o'clock. Uh, offset right. Probably coming from that factory bearing uh, zero seven three. A little check right reference zero five. Talia Column, left 055. Uh, this is Cyborg 7. Tally uh, moving mud, left 10 o'clock, 3 miles from Steer 5. Uh, Steer 4. Roger, 
advise we stay right? Offset right. Check back left into uh, the IP. One, two by five. Uh, what? Three, say again. Okay, two by five. Yeah, we have terrain. Four by eight, six. Uh, 530 knots. Okay, uh, 3, let's go air to ground. I'm talking to 2. Okay, that's our uh, IP. See that hill left 11 o'clock? Seen. Cyborg 7 beginning attack, IP inbound. One's in the pop. One's in the pop. Doing the pop. Magnum. Two Magnum SA10 tier seven. One minute five seconds to impact. Targets obscured by clouds. Mud triple A left ten. Mud ten ten eight. Two o'clock. Thirty seconds to impact. Roger, I don't have any mud yet. Oh, reference to six. Okay, one. One's capture Big Bird uh, directly on top of the steer point. Okay, one, uh, disregard, uh, flap lid directly on top of the steer point. One's in hot. Two in trail. Uh, 18 seconds to impact. 
Rifle, uh, one away, off to the, uh, east. Defending triple A. Defending singer something. Do a drill. Do singer SA5, 6 o'clock. Wait, three goes to the ultimate target, confirm. Well, no, we need to get a capture, just go as fragged. Got to capture a splash. Uh, three call IP inbound. Hey, three IP inbound from the southwest. All right, you're not the IP yet. I see you. Okay, uh, two snap left. Ten o'clock. Co out. That's the element. We're gonna flow behind them, and they're gonna we're gonna reset for another attack. Copy. Uh, be advised, two is Winchester on home. Understand. Please hold. K2, left turn. Two. Sentry, seven, plasma, five, one, group, bullseye, two, six, five, plasma, five, one, sentry, seven, zero, one, friendly, two, and it. Where did you fire your second harm at? Uh, SA-10. Roger. Oh, that's IP inbound, that's A-10, Roger that. Okay, yeah, one, one's in the pop. Two and trail. What did you release on? Three, what did you release on? Okay, uh, one has capture splash on the flap lid. Uh, one's in on the uh, big bird. Rifle, Big Bird, uh, defending AAA. Cap, flare. Cap, flare. Flow back to the IP. One, confirm, big, uh, confirm flap lid down. Flap lid has been destroyed. Uh, flo everyone flow back to steer, uh, five. Three, say weapons. Three, single CBU inbound, triple A, IT. Roger. Uh, blind. Okay, visual, visual. Four, are you covering your lead? Yep. Okay. One be advised, has base, seems clear so far, only got a uh, mode for green contact. Okay, one's in on the AAA. Two and true. 
Wait, Bob, you're in the way. Southwest. Hey, did you attack the group on top of the steer? Affirmative. IP inbound. Three, say again. Three, affirmative. Understand. Uh, I'm attacking. I'm attacking the group west, uh, 500 meters. Okay, one's capture. Triple A inbound uh, from the uh, northwest side of the facility. Five two, Fox three, bullseye two three four seven five twenty four. Wait, mud five. Four able for shot from SA five. Rifle. Negative. Rifle, uh, Western group of Triple A, uh, off back to the IP one way. Flip tonight. Flare. Oh, weapon three, SA5. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold that, abort. We're gonna, we're gonna attack the uh, MUD-17, I need the harms for the 17. Three, Dakota. Uh, four say weapons. Two harms. Okay, cool. So I have one MAV, let's, uh, let's attack the 17 as brief, let's, everyone flow back to your five. Two. Uh, let's do ops check, save fuel. Two, fuel state. Five point seven, tanks gone, two long sticks, no harms. Wait, fuel state, zero six seven, tanks right, three long sticks. Four fuel state, five one, two harms. Four long six. Four. Three, now flanker. Three defensive 17. Cyborg 7, uh, nail 17, 340. Roger that. Bring it. Bring it down, guys. Just bring it down. 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 Bring it Plasma 5, confirm you're engaging bandits uh, to the northwest. Yeah, Plasma 5 is engaging bandits 23574, range is 11. Understood. 4, rejoin on 3, reference to 5. Copy. Uh, can you guys clear the bandits? Uh, three, three clear, uh, clear bandits bearing, um, zero four zero. Three. Cyber four three targeted, bullseye two nine zero. One three, angels, unknown, spanker. Four, flow heading three zero zero, remain NOE. Three zero zero, NOE. Three, remember the altitude restriction. Do not pop up. You got another group of 27s. Package, plasma 5. Uh, we've now dealt with the targets. Uh, say if you need any more assistance, over. Uh, we got Nails 27 coming out of, uh, the east. Uh, we're flowing back to Steer 4. Hey, uh, guys. We'll Three status. Three, pressing, flankers. Three, you're entering AAA West. Knock it off, if able. Three, 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 nine, angels, nine, flanker, track west. Three, out close. Three, uh, snip and, uh, flow on Steer th uh, 4. Four, 
four. Got still one magnum left. Yeah, hold him that. Hold him magnum. We're just gonna we're gonna reattack once these bandits are clear. Four. I was on check right. Reference to four. Four. Cyborg seven uh, egressing towards steer four due to bandits. Uh, zero seven zero. Uh, try to slice back if you can. One second. Try to slice back your uh actually disregard disregard to stay on your heading. Three visual. Cyborg seven, say status, attack southern SA seventeen. Last color you're stepped on. Do you need help? Butthead Cyborg, do you need help? Cyborg currently, uh, getting down to 27. Alright, let's come up to altitude. Cyborg 7's in from the west. Bandits are splashed. Let's come back down to the deck. Altitude. Altitude. Alright, reference back to the IP. Two. Three. Four. Alright, we'll do one pass and then we'll RTB. Two. I think we're going to. I think we're going to attack the SA-17 to the south. Uh, stand re uh, Stand by to copy fighter brief. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack. Uh. So formation. It'll be trail. Um. Uh. Shooter. Shooter cover. Cover shooter. Um. I'll be attacking with Mavericks. Four. You're. You're going to attack with Harms. Uh, we're going to ingress from the IP and egress uh, back to the IP. Did you copy? Four. Mud hen, one, two. Uh, Reagan, Reagan. Four flank, like that. Four, did you copy the fighter brief? Cyborg, mud hen, 17 process. I got another flanker. Uh, zero, five, zero. Stay steer again. To uh, kill this, to, uh, to kill this bandit. Two, 
Uh, actually, uh, yeah, two and three monitor well, that bandit. Attack complete on SA-11. It's still a factor uh, to the southeast. Uh, we've got about 40 minutes of playtime rejoining the air to air. Mudhen, uh, Cyborg. Go for Mudhen. Two, Yoshida. We're in from the north, uh, SA-17. Attack complete. Is the site destroyed? Two, unable to see a bandit. Okay, three, you shoot up. If you got munitions, Boone got murdered on the eighth to the south. Clear comms. Are there are there any SA-17s over there? Negative 17, just eight to the south. Roger that. Hey, uh, four, we're going to attack the 17s to the north then. Um, so that's steer uh, eight, I think. Yes, steer eight. Four, did you copy? Four, ready to check. Yeah. Did you copy? We're attacking steer eight now. Same, Four. same frag. Four, copy. Okay, Roger. Three, Three Foster Angels 0504, Angels 5, track west, flanker. Three rejoining. Okay, four, say status, uh, say distance to IP. Charlie, declare. 12 miles, just steer 8. Oh, four, you're not, uh, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong spot. Flow back to steer 5, you're in, you're, you can't pop up from there, you'll die. Three, pimple. Flow to, steer, four, flow to steer 5 and strip from your lead. Four, okay. pimple. Okay, I'm in the pop from steer Four, five. Four, Fox three medium. Doing trail. Four going to steer five. Okay, uh, four of Able Fire on 17s. I'm in in hot now, 10 miles. Copy. Shit, I don't have anything. Negative capture, and I'm spike uh, 27 right to o'clock. Yeah, I got a hostile contact, Angel 03, Bolt 103 for 39. Okay, I'm aborting the ground attack. Two, you're sorted on the on the right bandit. I have the left bandit. One, Fox three medium. Two sorted. Fox three, uh, zero nine one for two one three thousand two twenty seven. Two, Fox three medium. Four single. Defending, uh, defending Fox, Fox 1. Magnum. Two, Fox 3 medium. Two, Fox 3 medium. Two, Stroker. Yeah, three, uh, four, dump your, dump your harms and we're, uh, gonna egress 240. Cyborg, affirm. Cyborg's out flowing 240, engage defensive. Okay, guys, uh, retrograde 240. Wait. Two. Be advised, flanker ship heavy group for the day, 09610, Angel 20. Three rejoining with one and two. Uh, Cyborg 7 is at the end of all RTB, uh, defending Spike 27, 6 o'clock. Hey, can you clear my 6, uh, if able? 3. He recommitting. Sensory, Cyborg 3, bogey note.
Two, bingo. Three, box three, medium. K2 pitching. Three, pitch Uh, plasma, we need help. I'm, I'm in hot. Bullseye, Unable. Uh, bandit bullseye one two zero for one three eight thousand. Satan is uh, playmate. Fox three medium. Okay, plasma receives playmate. Fox three uh, one two. Fox three one two five for one one eight thousand. Uh, Bingo. Bingo. Two gauge defensive. S twenty seven. Wait a minute. Plasma 5 3, Fox 3, 2 3, 2, 15, 7,000. Two, are you merged? Say again, step on. You said defensive, what do you, what's happening? I got a missile supply, but I'm clean now. Three status. Three, Scott. Lost second with four. Four status. Say, uh, Fox 3, 1, right. 4, 3. Float, float is tier 4, I think 4 got hit. Lotus tier 4. Two. Three. Three naked. Uh, two and three safe fuel. Baggage yeah, one hands back at tier 4. Right, go, sir. Number quest three, fox three, zero nine six, eighteen, six thousand. Two ships there. Say, uh, three, two and three safe fuel. Plus was engaging. Two, 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 one, six, zero, nine, nine, seventeen. Three fuel safe, give another three six. Cool. Um, let's... Uh, let's climb for angels now. Uh, leads critical fuel. I'm, I might have to go to the abort. Just, uh, let's look, climb for angels, reference us tier 4. Okay, plasma. Satan for uh, 4 2 Fox 3 1 0 9 for 15. Angel for 8. Yeah, be advised, Satan, that's probably a bomber. Cyber, uh, Cyborg 7 is uh, clean and RTB. 8 for. Plasma will stay on station, play time about another. Ten minutes. Uh, we are clear of fighter targets, bombers only. Alright, everyone's I'm here. Happy birthday. So we're going to start the debrief. Um, format for the debrief. Try to keep it to four or five minutes um, per flight. Cover the high-level beats of the mission. What went well and what could be improved. Um, we're going to start with Cyborg 7. Um, okay. 
So uh, high level beats. We we had like a bit of a um, pivot in our plan when we were in the briefing. So um, my original intention was to use Mavericks and Harms. Um, we had some people on the flight that weren't comfortable with Mavericks, so I said, okay, cool. We'll just have a different. We like pivoted the plan um, halfway in. Uh, so three had CBUs, um, and I had Mavericks. And the plan was to do um, a, a split axis pop-up attack um, on the SA-10 where um, I'd pop up first, I'd mav the flap lid, or try to, and then two, uh, sorry, the second element would do off-axis from the east with a pop-up with CBUs. So that was the plan. Uh, we were going to be separated by 10 miles, and uh, the wingmen were going to have harms, and they were going to cover, so that was the plan. Um... That plan pretty much happened flawlessly, executed flawlessly. Um, we killed the flap lid. I killed the flap lid on my first pop. I was able to get captured pretty quickly. Um, the target was heavily obscured by um, low-hanging fog. Um, that made it really difficult to get captured, but we were able to get captured. Um, killed the flap lid, um, and then I came around again, killed the big bird as three was popping up, um, and he did a attack. Um, then we started attacking the AAA. So we, we had briefed that we were going to attack the 17s in Sarajevo, um, but three on, on own initiative started attacking the AAA that was co-located on the SA-10, so I started attacking that as well. We did a couple passes on that, and then everyone was Winchester except for myself. I had one Mav, and four had two harms. Um, we tried to do a attack. On, so we planned to do... So I was trying to get in touch with Raz to attack the southern SA-17 site. Um, and he said it was dead, so I was like, okay, cool. Then we attacked. We tried to attack the Sarajevo 17s. Um, but the fighter brief was, like, not fully understood. So four got stripped. He was, like, following three. It was sort of a mess. And that's when we got bounced by those fighters and asked for and called for help. Um, we had some engagements, uh, killed some bandits, and I think four got hit by something in that... In that um, mess that we I just described. Um, retrograded west, uh, got up to medium altitude, and then uh, RTB'd with uh, myself and two doing emergency fuel landing with uh, like 500 pounds or something, 600 pounds on home plate. Um, what went well? Okay, so um, I think uh, for two, um, really good job flying formation, um, really good job uh, following the plan. So you were, like, glued on my wing the entire time, even when I was doing crazy maneuvers. That was really good. Um, good harms employment. Um, I know you didn't hit anything, but you still followed the plan. And if, if that SAM was active, I'm certain you would have hit it. Um, so that that was good. Um, also, I mean, you were quick to sort air-to-air -air shit, so that was good as well. Um, okay, for three... Um, excellent element leading, like probably one of the best element leading demonstrations I've seen. Um, really spot on, perfect. I have like no real critiques of anything that you did, so nice work. Um, four, um, I think you did a really good job staying with your element leader as well. So really good formation flying by both of you guys. Um, and we were able to stay visual the whole time, which was great, so that was good. Um, points for improvement, uh, two. Uh... I can't really think of any. I mean, there was one point where you were stripped off four miles, but you quickly rejoined, so I don't have anything else there. You stayed with me the whole time. Uh, three, there was one point where I think you lost SA and you, like, went into a AAA WES that was, like, north of our IP, and you kept pushing in to try to kill a MIG. Um, you were it's you were lucky you did not get shot down. That was like just a miracle. You had entered like a like three or four overlapping low altitude AAA weses. They probably had shore ads and shit over there. Um, I noticed that and I was like, hey, come off, and then you did. So that was good. But um, just try to look at the HSD or or just come off dry. Um, other than that, I don't have anything. Uh, four. Um, so one one uh crit criticism or one critical feedback I give you is um. So I tried to give a fighter-to-fighter -fighter brief for the attack on the 17. Um, make sure you understand that. And if you don't, like, say stop and, and ask for clarification. Um, because you were stripped off. You were following 3 still. 3 was, like, trying to clear the airspace of bandits. So he wasn't... He was doing his own thing, and so was 2. They were trying to clear the airspace. Um, and the intention was for you to follow me to Sear 5 um, okay. and then attack north into the Sarajevo. So... 
Um, you got stripped, and I think that's part of why you died. Um, so just like it's okay to say stop, or like like I don't I don't I don't copy like negative copy on the on the plan. Um, and also okay. like my go to strategy is just turn off com one if there's a lot of traffic. Just literally turn it down to zero. There's v very rarely anything valuable on there anyway. Just turn it off and listen to the flight lead. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, good 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 stuff overall. Great great job on my flight. Um, I think. Uh, for me, for uh, points to improve, I should have probably retrograded everyone west and then reset um, and made sure everyone read back the fighter brief before committing on that attack. Um, so that was probably on my part. And also, I think we stuck around for a couple minutes longer than we should have. We should have just aborted and RTB'd uh, when the first ship said Joker. But I wanted to do one. I was hoping we would do one more run on Raz's target. And then just RTB, um, but his target was killed, so we had to pivot that. So that was sort of like a rushed final attack and fighter brief. Um, so that's not good. Um, cool. That's it for my flight. I'm gonna go to Jaguar Seven. Uh, good things. Communication, flight formation. Um, bad thing is uh, pre-planning. On my part, our flight path took us over really flat terrain into the uh, target area. I probably should have saw that in the 2D before coming in, uh, so we could have terrain masked better. I also forgot to tell my flight to turn on our jammers, which fucked us even more. So not only did we come in all over flat land, NOE to an SA-8 battery, um, we didn't have any sort of EW protection. Uh, we killed the fire can and then all died. So, points to improve on. Don't die. End of briefing. I mean, we died super early, so not much to talk about. We, I should have moved our IP. But I didn't see, I didn't see it before we started, so it's on me. Did you guys uh, look at it in three D? Yeah, but not, we 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 yeah, did like not zoomed out yeah. um, too much. So basic, basically, um, I was the last one to die, and um, so um, the SA thirteenth and SA eight, which both. Um, um, where the reason who killed us were all sitting on a re reverse slope, so and uh, that was our problem. So we should have come in from a complete different direction instead from coming um, west to east. We should have um, come in from the south. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I uh, after Bob went in and shot the fire can with a Maverick, we killed the fire can. And then I popped up to do my attack on two SA-8s that were not on the slope. They were the two I found in my targeting pod. I was about to cluster them and two Singer 8s immediately. And they, I mean, we were close. They were very fast and there was... Yeah, you yeah. can't defend that. Like, that's, that's um, what you did is exactly how they're, de like, that's the perfect firing solution for them, the way you guys have t approached. So there's almost yeah. no way to defend that. It's like 100%, almost 100% PK. Yeah, I, I had no way to maneuver. It, went, I, it was like a half a second after the RWR went off that I was dead. What's, what's, uh, what, what's their, what's their um, range? Like four miles. Yeah, it's not uh, great. Then, it's... then, so I was um, until I, I turned, until I saw them behind the slope. I was already in two miles range. Yeah, they um, they had a really really good position. Uh, like I said, the only two that weren't on the reverse slope facing our ingress point was um, the two that I had on the TGP. Where, which were next to a bunch of anti-air guns, um, but they're, they're, theirs are not the ones that shot me <laughs> when I popped up to fucking blow those guys up. Uh, all their bros on the hill fucking opened up on us. Okay, uh, that's pretty well, gnarly. Uh, we'll look at it a little bit more in the ACMI. Um, let's go to the next flight, which would be Plasma Five. 
Okay, plasma five. Uh, with a little delay getting off the runway, as uh, there was half a flight going to be stalled in front of us, but we had to ignore the air traffic control, get off, but I think by that time crash, you'd already engaged and destroyed some SU-27s. Yeah, two sure. So sure. we, yeah, so we got ourselves on station ahead of Carrot, so at least we're there in position for you. And from then on, we just had multiple flights coming in from various directions. There were also a lot of bombers mixed up with them, so I was having to hold back my rabid wingman from committing on all the bombers. Uh, although we did, we did uh, damage a couple of blackjacks, which were unusual to see. Um, but from then on, uh, with BS, we were doing grinder, but there was, and we were engaging stuff from all directions. I know a couple of times you were engaged, but the time we vected in on them, whatever you were engaging had been shot down, so we raced back to get on station again. Uh, we took out about six enemy and damaged a couple more. Uh, we, we just couldn't get down low because every time we were coming to flow low, more enemy were coming in high. We engaged more coming out. Uh, didn't uh, decided not to tell you everything we were we were spotting because that would just saturate you. So good points. Yes, we got all three of us back. Um, killed stuff. Bad points. We just couldn't cover every threat that was coming in for you. So two and three did a good job in rapidly changing situations. Was not a calm grinder. Um, but say we managed our fuel okay and. Would have liked to have stayed a bit longer, but so we did give warning when we pulled out. So we did the best we could with what we had. So thank you, flight. What a gentleman. Okay. Um, now it's Satan for Satan. Um, uh, sorry, I might be looking at the wrong sign-up sheet. No, no, no it's definitely Satan. Sorry, I was doing Church Lady. Um, <laughs> just doing Dana Carvey. Oh, damn, I missed that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Satan for uh, so our plan we had like a we had a couple IPs that we were going to use. We had train masking on the uh, ingress. Um, we were kind of late to take off, so we we figured that the airspace would be pretty clear by the time we took off, which was basically the case. Um, sounds like there was some excitement. Um, I I had uh, number two monitor uh, the package strike comms. Uh, hat tip to Boone. I think that's a great idea. Just improved our SA so that once we got airborne, we knew what was going on. Um, see, we came in. So uh, we once the air, pic air picture was had cleared up, we started. Uh, we ingressed to our target as fragged um, on carrot with the Rolex, which ended up being like exactly matching our timing onto target. Uh, as we got close. Uh, the uh, we started recon in the target area. Uh, we had pre-briefed steer points on the Tellars for the SA-11, and um, there was nothing there. So our plan was uh, we just had four Mavericks apiece, and we were going to go NOE pop up, fire the Mavericks, and use terrain to mask uh, below, um, and firing at uh, max range. Uh, with the fact that the target wasn't there, uh, was concerning because I didn't really expect them to be moving. Um, uh, I couldn't find them. I started looking around on the FCR, uh, but two got a spot in, he got called capture immediately. Um, so that was really good. Like I, I, I was surprised, uh, how, uh, quickly he found them. I couldn't find them at all. Um, he was able to data link me the target and, uh, they'd moved, um, maybe 15 miles to the southeast and uh so uh we started engaging with mavericks kind of as as planned um just you know audibling the 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 we kind of used the new um the the former target to your point as the ip and uh, that worked out pretty well um mavericks were ineffective so we got several hits we witnessed impacts we hadn't over g'd and yet, um, the Mavericks uh, didn't were not very effective at destroying the Tellars. So uh, I think with eight Mavericks fired, we got seven hits and four four vehicles destroyed. I think so. Uh, it was still a factor. We got a snowdrift and a couple of Tellars, uh, but multiple Tellars remaining. Uh, so that kind of sucked. Uh, but we had we were still on the tanks at that point. So we. I'm back outside the SA-10 Wes, um, supported air-to-air, -air, 
uh, supported some of the engagements coming out of uh, out of uh, Belgrade uh, called Playmate on Cyborg uh, when they were defensive. I was a little worried about friendlies being in unknown positions over over the area. So um, I hope I hope that we'll see in the in the Acme how that went. Uh, but uh, we we kind of set up an impromptu grinder. Uh, two did a great job getting separation. Um, then at one point, uh, we got a l pretty far deep. So like we were within multiple SA-17 Wes's. Uh, so I called knock it off and we, we egressed, um, on the way back, uh, we, uh, people were calling out, uh, I think there was probably a four ship of flankers to the East separated by a few miles. So I heard commit on one group. Um, but it was a different bullseye from where I saw a two ship. Uh, so two and I sorted on them, uh, engaged, and I have a feeling that other flights were engaging as well. So uh, we destroyed, the, between the the collective package, we destroyed those flankers, then RTB'd. Um, as far as critiques, I kind of don't really have any. I mean, just uh, it was a good learning experience on the data link for, you know, just... My feeling is, you know, if you don't know how to use something, um, it's no big deal. Uh, we usually can be walked through it uh, if it's a more complicated system. So that's a good learning experience on using the data link to send mark points. Um, and then, um, uh, yeah, what I could have done better. I mean, um, probably should have had a contingency for if they were moving. Um, but, uh, you know, like plan plan for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think overall it was, uh, it was pretty good. Cool. Mudhen won. All right. So Mudhen was tasked with taking out those Southern SA-17s. Um, and our plan was to come off to the North on the off chance that Boone's flight all died in a horrendous fire, uh, which fortunately that plan worked out for us. Um, so we came up when an OE came in. Our plan was we were going to have um, our plan was to have uh, three and four come in with cluster bombs, waft over a hill that was right by the SA-17, and one and two were going to support behind them, shooting harms uh, to try and provide an umbrella as they came in. That worked really well. Uh, three wiped out half of the Tellars on the first pass. Uh, four just couldn't get his bombs off. Um, but we came back in for subsequent passes, uh, doing the same thing, using one and two as cover with harms, three and four as shooter, lofting CBUs, and took out the whole battalion. Might have split an RBMK reactor wide open, so uh, I'm going to need a lot of sand. It's only three point um, run kittens, man. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> not great, not horrible. <laughs> yes. Um, so that all went well. Um, at one point, well, we were grinding from like our IP inbound to drop bombs. Uh, a pair of Su-35s crawled up our ass. We took those out uh, with some help with Krause's flight. Um, so things that went well, I think we came up with a pretty simple plan and executed it really well. Even when we ran into issues, when bombs wouldn't come off, when we were having com out issues because we were all NOE and hilly terrain, um, everyone did a fantastic job of sticking with me and then just cycling from the IP and then coming back in did a great job of staying uh, off of that SA-8 to our south. Uh, so no one got murdered by that, which had me really worried because that was pinging us the whole time we were going in and out. Um, just awesome job by everyone sticking with me and uh, coordinating good comms the whole way through. Uh, things I could have improved. I should have briefed uh, what to do and comm out a little better, uh, but everyone executed really well regardless. Um, I think that's all I had. We ran into some more Su-27s on the way back. Uh, it seemed a little difficult sorting because they were all spread out. And it, it looks like there were two two ships. But by the time we showed up, they were spread out over like 30 miles. Uh, so sorting was a little difficult. But we shot them down and went home. Sweet. That's the end of the debrief. Um, if you can't stick around. Don't forget the growler. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um, shut him down. He's not here. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> he's taking a holiday in Hades. Um, so thanks everyone for attending. We're going to be looking at the ACMI now. Um, this part doesn't really have a time box, so we're just going to be viewing it until we get bored. Um, in the Saturday events 
channel. Uh, there is a ACMI link, and Razgris is hosting the ACMI. Feel free to join or watch the stream. Great mission. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right. Meanwhile, Sarajevo. I have a Discord stream. If anyone wants to watch and can't get into the online debriefing. Thanks, Brody. MVP. All right. Ooh. So I you guys take button. off, and there's some uh, 35 headed your way. Yeah, we immediately got uh, spiked uh, by these. Well, C20. We got 27 now, so we just flow into them and engage them. But unlike other times, we didn't Bukaki these guys, and I think it was really good. It was like, because I was the second flight up after you, Chrissy, uh -huh. and when I heard you talking with them, I was like, all right, then I'm just going to fucking fly my flight path, and unless they keep coming within a certain range, I'm not even going to dick with them. My number two, Bob, who flew pretty good, locked them up and saw you splash them, and I just think it was really good deconfliction, dude. Yeah, I thought it went pretty well. Um, th so three did call out that they were getting merged. So as we were firing this other flight rider, literally just like went Mongo style and just split them, split their formation in half, uh -huh. um, which was terrifying. So if you like rewind this and look at the F4s. Yeah. It looks you know, like one of the AMRAMs actually tracks on the F4s. Is that energy? Yeah. Uh... Oh, he was going down he anyways. Exploded so. before, uh. For that amram, but it's totally that, terminal on. <laughs> look at look, look at that's our story, there. and we're sticking to it. I didn't uh, even see those F fours. Yeah, so we thought they were actually Greek F fours. So we were like doing a picture call on the ground, but then we got two twenty seven. Holy shit! Oh yeah, it's out Who's for blood. That? Again, though, just to note, we didn't get a scramble call, so I'm not sure what that trigger is or if Lork. That's only Fuck in 2D. It. You won't get it in yeah. 3D. Schwacked. Oh, okay, okay, but nice. like... Uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. nice. Well nice. done. Excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, go back. M72 Protecting wall? Home port. What the... shooting a wall. <laughs> what oh, there's the tanks. fuck? Oh, no, there's tanks overrunning our base. No, there's... Yeah, we need... Like, the next frag the next should probably be... needs like... to be like a ground scramble to attack mud. Defend, defend the base. Yeah. There's literally tanks. I don't know why it's not on the ACMI, but there are tanks... Attacking this group right here. Yeah. Can you also command oh, uh, ground units in. or only air units? Yeah, you can command them. Yep. Nice. All right. So wow. we all start making our way out. I thought the Rolex call was fantastic. Everything ended up being right on carrot based on that. So, Chris, good on that. You guys see these two 16s coming in? Oh, yeah, there's bombers everywhere. Yeah, we ignored them because not worth the slammers. Uh, I agree. It wasn't our mission, you know? Uh -huh. okay. I managed to Just... keep my number two off him. He was going rabid to attack. Him. Yeah, yeah. They, they, <laughs> they flew right right above us. I was I was so close to just go guns on him. Yeah, this was screwy because there was right over our uh, point where we were going NOE, there was like a bunch of moving mud. Was that it? Yeah. The one that you guys were referencing. I hope I got enough. I hope I was close enough in this hack me to get the target area. Can I, ju can I just say this is a great formation that's going? Oh yeah, right. Oh, what's going on over here? Yeah. It's AI. Like is it though? Plasma five four is AI. Okay. Well, yeah, to, to stop my wing when using all the missiles up, I said we'll send four and do it, but he, <laughs> he managed not to. So uh, watch what four does here. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now, now, watch what, now watch what Ford is. Negligent, <laughs> negligent discharge. <laughs> I like the yeah. alien roll. You, you see that guy over there. I like how Moody reacted right away. Did you see that in the bird? Hey, can I have control Ford, for a second? Ford decides that yeah. you need to eat this SSA. I went, I went right crazy. Like, sorry. Like, what? I had an, an, an M behind me at this point. <laughs> Well, I'm like, getting oh, the side orbs from that. What'd you, what'd like, you do? Did you fly? Like, I just 
I, I, I had it behind, so I just I went like broke. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, did, and then I looked up that? and I saw this. I saw that. I'm like, oh, I bet you it's guy. Uh, but I, Oak, I Oak just I doing the down and walk away. Oh, so okay, what took him down was sorry, scout flight. What is scout? They got these things. Yeah, these yeah, things. they. Oh, okay. Those aren't A7s, are they? Oh! 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 No. oh okay, that takes care of Plasma yeah, 5-4. Yeah, there he goes! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you fucking get! <laughs> you get hit by a man What an idiot! What an idiot! Play stupid games. Oh, Win stupid man. prizes. BS, you're out for blood here, man. I'm waiting for five fours missiles to come in. Yeah, I, I, I let him off the leash so I could keep Tor with me. Because well, because these things have just kept trailing their coats backwards and forwards over the top of us. What, what's eight seven? Isn't that like a Corsair or something? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that label's correct. Meanwhile, on Jaguar flight. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, pause it real quick. Let me explain what we were trying to do. So, in each element, one person had Mavericks, the other person had cluster bombs. The Mavericks people were going to go in first, hit radars and launchers, and then we were going to cluster bomb everything else, all the AA guns and all that whatnot. So, Bob here gets a good shot off on the flat face. Go ahead and roll X word. At this point, I got the SA-8s in my target pod, the two that weren't reverse sloped. That's How do I fucking do that thingy again? Shift click. Uh, those. Well. Oh, I see that come up at Oh, head. nice. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to fucking kill those. So then I start my pop to fucking... Awful coast there, Chief. Fucking... Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <Schwacked>. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What was the range? Can we see the play, range? Play it again. Oh man. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, that's not. Terrible. That's not out. Of, no, it's not. It's a, it's that's a good range. I mean. I mean. Yeah. It's what? just. Yeah, just got... they. There was no yeah. terrain between me and them, and the jammer was off. So. We're at three thousand feet, know. right? No, that was three hundred. Ah, okay. And then here comes the rest of Jaguar. And we're phoning in over here, and I'm just seeing shit exploding off of our left and or right. I'm like, well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, boom. Oh, the, shit. The, the position they were <laughs> in, yeah. they were in a really good position. These, these chuckle <laughs> chipmunks. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that thing was fast. So, this unless whole you can bury it really quickly, or it's just going to gank you, is there yeah. not much you can do? And this this terrain's pretty flat. If you look from where Oak's aircraft is right now, and if you make a V to where Streak is, that area is almost makes like a bottleneck into their position. And on the backside where these SA8s are, is a hill, and they're sloped on it. Oh, should should have just popped up where that river is. That would have been it would have been fine. Just needed to pop up more to the west. Yeah. And that's something I should have caught. Yeah, look at like that home. Yeah, we'll talk about that in just a sec. <laughs> oh, oh no! Man, fucking lawn dart. Oh, no. <laughs> Schwacked. Lawn dart. See it, all the way. Oh, sorry, I wasn't watching. Oh, the ground has a PK. Oh, of oh, one. Oh, the ground has a PK of one. Correct. So I wasn't hit by any missile. <laughs> I, I just pulled and then, oh, where is that? Remember, from? the ground has a PK of one. Of one. <laughs> We're going to call that the aid maneuver. <laughs> wow. All right. So, <laughs> Mud Hunt's coming in uh, right to the north of them. Um, our plan is we got Streak and Rice in front. They're going to drop CBUs because if you look over here, there's a big cluster of Tellars nice. here and a big cluster of Tellars here. Our original plan, I was thinking we would use some Mavs, but like there's an RBMK reactor right here and all of the cooling stacks right here. So I'm like, okay, shit, are we going to come in from a weird angle or what are we going to do? 
and Streak and Ricey, ever helpful, are like, let's just loft 87s over the buildings and blow it up. So, awesome plan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Me and Styles are coming in behind. And our plan is, as they pop, we're going to shoot harms uh, so that if they get locked up in those couple seconds, then there's a harm coming down. Um, so Styles shoots, and I assume this is just a BMSism. His missile says, ooh, there's a Tunguska over there. <laughs> I promise you, it was in pre-brief. 17, I believe you. Weirder yeah. shit has happened. <laughs> so Streak gets a cluster, so clusters off. That's Ricey. Sick. Oh, that's a pops. Sick, that's a sick pop up by streak right there. Yeah, yep. I think we I think we have the classic just like BMS finickiness with the pop, or did you just bleed some speed, or I don't know, something misbehaved. So he's like, okay, I'm off. Oh, and okay. meanwhile, I've got a harm in the air. Nice. <laughs> cool. Half of them are dead. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to we're flowing back out to the IP, and here's where we had some trouble. I was trying to like figure out where everyone was, who still had bombs left, if Ricey got his off, and like we, because you can't really see very well in the Acme, but there is some hilly terrain here, and we were really low. Uh, so I was having like really choppy comms. So like I said, damn good job with my flight. Everyone without good comms flew back to the IP, came around back in, and here we go, almost like we planned it. Ricey's having a bad day, pops again. And at this point, the 17 starts illuminating us. So ask Streak if he can get it in. Styles <laughs> Magnums again. <laughs> <laughs> right where he should. What, what mode are you using for that? Pre-briefed. Pre 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 really oh, weird. you know what? You might you might have better luck with equations of motion. Pre-briefed has like a wider seeker. Uh, it can see behind the missile. The missile. I mean, it's, like, it's, it's looking backwards. This is most certainly a so BMSism. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah pre-brief doesn't really work. He, like the only really reliable one is Ruck uh, in this version of BMS. I would. No, nah, I've had great luck with the OM. Um, well, but he killed the Shilka. I mean, if yeah, you, that Shilka is not hurting yeah, anyone. Yeah, but with the OM. Sorry, go ahead, Chris. If you had targeted a Shilka, then that missile performed really good. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, therein lies the problem, though. But yeah. if when you're in the OM, doesn't it? If the Tunduska has a higher radar output than the 17, won't the harm switch to it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, sure. It doesn't do any system switching. You have to. You can, okay. you have to it shouldn't. I have to maybe uh, them on a special special emitter. Yeah. So at this point, Krause's trying to get a hold of me. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Is the 17 still up?" And I'm hold hearing like every other word which is fun. Um, so I'm trying to communicate the SA-17 still up. And was that Ricey that got a missile off? Uh, I think I shot one and Krause shot one. No, uh, somebody else got a harm off. Or who's we'll Cyborg 7-4? Yeah, that's, uh, that's my 4. Yeah, because it's illuminating at this point, which is why I whip around and shoot. And Ricey's third time the charm comes in. Oh, and it's, and I'm popping up just to try and get eyes on with the TGP, and I see it, and oh fuck, they're all still there. So in comes Ricey. Here we go. Yes, hey, that's Bob. fucking awesome. Good that's Bob, a good dude. gringo. That's an awesome fucking loft. That that's a lot of muscle. Nice. Slice, slice out, going really fast. That's fucking perfect. That's a fucking Kareem Abdul Jabbar hookshot. Dude. And kaboom. <laughs> and that's how an RBMK reactor explodes. Did it Meanwhile, explode? did it actually? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, like the fucking like I don't know. I don't think eighty-seven munitions would do this, but like oh, I yeah. turn back in and like, but there's like the top is fucking blown off the reactor you know, the, building. The like, eighty-seven is actually really good at killing um, soft buildings and stuff. It's quite good at that actually. Do you know how many fucking feet of concrete are on yeah, there? Anyways, it's, <laughs> hopefully a reactor is not a soft building. But... Anyway, uh, I don't know. Anywho, I've used it on radars before. So. Ooh. Someone, I think two or three, calls out Spike 27 North. I whip around. Oh, and he says, hey, 20. And I had seen the spike, but I figured, okay, we got. I know 
Krause and friends are to our north, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then he's like, oh, hey, 20 miles. And I'm like, okay, let's go heads up. Uh, so I'm looking around. Pick that guy up. Yeah, we're, we're running out, by the way, at this point. We're yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> Did you call for help already? I don't know, but there was a like we are we had briefed that we weren't going to fight them west, uh, east of Steer Four. That's, so that's good. That was. Uh, no, that was that was single target. It it went pit bull off the rail, so I immediately start looking for another target. Okay. Um, because I can see this guy, and I know he has a wingman somewhere. So I'm like, where the fuck is he? And we had also briefed that we weren't going to fight in this area, but we had just to we knew the SA-17 was down. We had knocked it out. So, and these guys were crawling up our ass. So I see that guy explode. I see this guy cold, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to get dragged any further north, so I slice out. Styles has a nice follow-up shot. And then I didn't know this guy had turned hot again. And BS comes in from outer space. <laughs> hey, Miley Cyrus, Are you guys aware that the SA-10 was down at that point? No. No. Okay. Which is why we're all still scurrying around on the deck. This was fucking terrifying. Like, I turn around to look for the wingman, and I see this plane, like, right off my nose. And I'm like, that has too many engines on it. And it's a Su-35, four miles. And I'm about to shoot it when I see it turn cold. And I'm There's tracking it. Coming in on it. And pfft, nice. Um, so... At this point, I'm trying to evaluate, do we still have any bombs left? We do not. So we fly up, and we go out. And we can talk about the C-27s on the way home later. Uh, Krause, you want to take it? Yeah. Max okay. performance climb, by the way. I'm out, guys. Have a good day. It was fun. Yeah. See you, boom. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So we already went over the first engagement against those uh, super uh -huh. guys, so we'll just skip that. Yeah, so this, this spacing, uh, it was intentional. We were trying to be separated by 10 miles. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so we go NOE here. As soon as I go NOE, uh, I don't think it's, yeah, I spot these guys. So I had a Shilka spike, uh, or it might've been, I think it might've been these guys. I can't remember, but, um, I'm just like looking at all the, in, you know, I'm looking around and spot the, I think it was these guys. I called that out. Um, yeah, good call there. And our IP is, there is a very prominent ridge, um, right here. So, um, that was our IP. Um, you can see, you can see it, uh, right here. If you look like flat, there's a pretty prominent ridge there. So we're in the pop now. Um, targets completely obscured by clouds. Can't see shit. Um, apex fires a pre-brief, um, harm on the SA-10 and I get a alto nice. attack altitude. What happened to it? Did it explode? Oh, no. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's doing its thing. Oh, it's going for it. Oh, wow. It's... Shit. Okay. Nope. Must have... Oh, yeah, it was going for it, though. Anyway, so I'm on final now. Still trying to get capture. Um, There was, like, maybe a 10-mile visibility. Maybe. Maybe. So, like, I'm still hey, trying to... Hey, can you, like, control right-click on the target rather than on the SA-5? There, there you go. go. So I'm trying to... I'm going to... So I got capture here. Um, Maverick... Uh, rifle on the flap lid. I had good capture on the flap lid. Apex fires another harm on final, which we nice. briefed that as well. Um, so we're like completely safe right now because we have a harm in the air. Um, oh shit! Hold on, what just happened? Did you Nothing. You just snapped over to that. You're fine. Oh, I, look like I was gonna say up. we just got your super what jerky. Second uh, AGM 88. Yeah, that. that's what I was looking for. I think it hit the command post. Um, super jerk. Nah. It doesn't hit so shit. They hit the command post, but didn't destroy it. And then... Uh, it, yeah, it got some splash time. Right on it. In. So, yeah, I think this thing gets a f first shot kill. Um, Boom. Nice. And then... These guys are coming in now. We have visual at them. We do a hook turn. And then as soon as... Their IP is, like, right here. Um, so I'm popping as soon as they're popping... Um, because we still didn't have capture, uh, we still didn't have capture on the destroyed flap lid yet, so he's going for a pop, I'm, uh, a short pop-up attack, I'm running in to get capture, 
um, get capture here, and then I, I, don't, I don't know what he's attacking at this point. I think he's attacking the same site. Let's watch the money shot. Yeah. Okay, so he's just he dropped on the okay. flap lid. So all the radars are dead now. No, the big bird's still up, and I rifle on the big bird. Okay. Um, so this is on the big bird, and then we're flowing back to the IP again. Um, so, uh, hey, four, are you still here? Yep. So one thing we briefed is we weren't going to return to this IP. This this detail might have been lost in the briefing. We were going to return to steer five, not steer six, and then we were going to reset from steer five. So that's why three's going over here, FYI. Yeah, it was lost. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. Um... So we, yes, yeah, so we do. What are we doing now? Oh yeah, Did now this we're. This guy spike you at all? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's that's a danger with where four is right now. We put we put um an SA fifteen and SA eight pre reef over there because we we just we treated we said that was gonna be restricted airspace. Um, oh, okay. So anyway, so he's coming up and attacking AAA, which we did not brief, but I was like, whatever, it's fine. He was shooting at us. Um, so I run in now. He has a CBU. Uh, he's attacking the south group, I think. Or no, I guess it's... So he just nice. kills that group. I'm in hot now, attacking the western group of guns. And uh, I think this map doesn't get a kill for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see if it impacts at least. It definitely impacts. But I, that's sort of, sort of to be expected in a gun. Um, hitting a huh? gun. It's not very good on guns. Um, then we get spiked. Um, so I'm telling these guys to come back to the... They're like, oh, we're going to engage. No, you're not. Come back to the IP. <laughs> um, so we start retrograding now, and I think we just run out. Oh, no, this one we might have actually engaged. That's where you... Oh, yeah, this is... A harm. Yeah, this is where I'm telling three, hey, you're within Wes. Like, he got really close to a pre This Wes and then this Wes... Um, so he fires that, snips that, and then now I'm telling everyone, like, hey, let's fucking go west, let plasma cover us, and come out. So we start retreating west. That's We just saw this engagement before with um, the uh -huh. other guys. Um, oh, great. 17, so, not active. So somewhere around here, I'm like, hey, um, I, I gave a fighter brief that we were actually going to come in and we were going to attack uh, Raz's target. Um, and then when he said that it was dead, we switched it back to our pre-briefed, like from the frag plan, which was to attack the SA-17s in Sarajevo. Um, I don't know what happens here, but... What the fuck am I... Oh, no, that didn't happen yet. This is us. I can't remember what we're doing here. You got scramblers coming out of Coven, I guess. Yeah. So this... Probably detecting those guys. Yeah, so like, this, this is me getting way too close and I get the fuck out. Um, th there was still some AAA up, um, so we get. Oh wow! There. They like turned hot and engage you right after taking yeah, off. Yeah, I sorted that. Um, let's see if we actually kill both of them. Cool. So that happened. I told three to clear a six. I think. Oh yeah, I think. We, I don't remember when we did the second fighter brief, but it might have been. Cause it, yeah, so I, I'm defending a missile. We get back. Oh yeah, this is when I did the second fighter brief. So it's right here. Wait, no, it's not. What the what uh, what happened? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, no, it was that. So it was this. It's oh yeah yeah yeah. Because I'm at the IP now. I remember the whole point. I remember it now. So we're at the IP. This is where four is supposed to be following me, but he's uh, mm -hmm. he got confused, so he's following three. I'm in the pop, and I'm like, dude, fire a harm at the because we were gonna attack the 17s. Then I get a spike, and I just abort, jettison my shit, and then we go air to air. I jettison like over here. We go air, air to air. Go offensive. Um, or I might What's the right range here. on that shot? Uh, like 12 miles, 10 miles. Oh, okay. what, what's yeah. everyone's altitude? Uh, we're like Cherbs 3 or some shit. I don't know. Okay, what about the Terry? Uh, it's they're just like low. a. Yeah. I mean, a 10 mile shot's going to have trouble at those altitudes. They just get airborne and they immediately get a fox on them, I think. Yeah, they're freaking chaffing as they're getting airborne. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying to see from your cockpit. Um, yeah. And shout immediately. Well, you do get sent to Google for that. Wow, nice. Out of COVID. Good kills. COVID in that base. 
So that was good. I thought two did a really good job uh, dealing with the sort. It was, so that was good. I'm I'm amazed that this was like so close after each other. I didn't remember that. I, I thought it was like the shots were first apart. Because time slows down when you're in the when you're doing this shit. Um, yeah, and then we RTB. Time dilation, yo. We ha so we're RTB now, and uh, we're I'm critical fuel, and two is I. How much fuel did you have at this point, too? It was low, whatever it was. 2.3 or 2 or something. Oof. Yeah, I was lower than that, though. I was, like, I was below 2,000. And uh, we get spiked by these guys, and you'll see, like, a little course correction here. I'm like... that. That's when uh, Plasma attacks them. We turn right, and I'm like, hey, we're, we're, we're going that way. We're not going to fight. And we land. Gank those guys. Um, three, anything you, three, anything you want to see? Yeah, I think at one point the reason why we got so separated is because I think four was expecting to follow me the whole time, yeah. and yeah. then we changed the plan so that two and three were cover and one and four was shooter. When yeah. normally it was one and three shooters, that that changed probably since we were NOV. Maybe the transmission got blocked, which was the reason for the confusion. Yeah, it was it was a bit confusing, and that's like probably what I should have done is like just went out here and done the fighter brief over here, but I was trying to um, be aggressive because we had low fuel. So difficult to change tactics when you're NOB because you can't hear what your leader's saying. Yeah, I mean that's again uh, uh, no, my I, fault. I, I think you, actually you you told me, but I was too confused to actually <laughs> process the data. Yeah, it's it's stressful. And working a helmet fire is a uh, mm. it's a skill you develop. All right, um, someone else can take it. Ah, uh, the AC guy right. that is. Uh, Abe, did you go over your fight? No. Oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out where we are here. Okay. So here's the ingress. That's your target. TU-160s. Here's where I have a heart attack. Uh, so our target was supposed to be somewhere like, I don't know, over here, I think. Um, but they were actually quite a ways away from where they were. I guess was, yeah, they were, they were over here instead. So like they were, they were briefed to be like somewhere over here. And they were actually over here. But Moody found them. Um, and it was able. We we spent a little bit of time like flying around, trying to figure out how to. Um, how did you find hand off the date that on a GMT? Oh, so they were moving as you as yeah. You were them? <laughs> they were moving, but I looked on GMT and couldn't find them. But I guess they were just slightly out of the. Like I wasn't expecting them to have moved that far. Oh, um, but it was terrifying. like an immediate capture. Uh, they're in a valley, um, but there was lots of rolling terrain, so I wasn't too concerned. Uh, I came off left here, which I think I I saw like dead aircraft somewhere over here. I'm like, hmm, maybe we don't want to come off left anymore. So after that, I said N -n -n -n, I shouldn't have come off left, come off right. I guess it wouldn't have really mattered, but uh, I couldn't really tell. So so we sorted on this. Yeah, I I don't know why that didn't do anything. Missed. It missed? Yeah, it hits SA seven. Yeah. That's not a that's an SA seventeen. Oh okay. Oh, okay. That's the tellers? Yeah, these are the tellers. <laughs> okay. Uh this is the snowdrift. But gotcha. all of these are all of these are tellers. Oh sorry, wait, how do I see my speed? Okay, there we go. Wait, how do I how do I set it to one point oh? It's either one point five or point seven five. The speed? Yeah, okay, I figure if you hold down shift it goes in smaller increments when you change the speed. Oh. Sure, you so direct hit button. doesn't explode. Okay. Yeah, I mean I know I, I pulled four point three G's at that point, and I know I didn't over speed. So So one thing I find is uh if you go back to the right before it impacts, um that could have hit terrain. So like zoom all the way in, like all the way, all the way in. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw the thing explode. I saw the okay. Tellar explode. I mean, it's right. pretty flat terrain there, so. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, and I it's mean, not like a, the missile stalling out either. 
Yeah. It just didn't blow it up for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. Right, but yeah. I think the same happens with mine. Yeah, so we sorted on this nicely. We didn't attack the same target. Yeah, I mean, same exact thing happened. I saw an explosion. I, like, I saw a like, fireball right over the Telar over my shoulder. <laughs> I'll post the footage from the attack. Hashtag BMS. Yep, exactly. Same thing happens here. I what told him that I was visual and came off underneath him. How many maps do you have total? Uh, between the two of us, eight total. That's, that's that infuriating. Was. That is. Yup, like, it was very infuriating. That, that would piss me off. Piss me off big time. I was like, well, I guess we'll just keep attacking. I wish you could rearm in BMS. I would have landed and uh, gotten CBUs or something and come back. Because we were kind of off by our own. Oh, top over here. Yeah. yeah, you got two off on one yeah. pass, which is nice. This simulates them shooting down your Mavericks, right? That's, that's how we're going to hand wave. There we go. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. All eight of them. That's it, Tom. Then I think this one actually, I fired at the snowdrift again. I wasn't sure what he'd fired on, so I fired on the snowdrift. Actually took that out. Double tap. Oh, Ooh, you got a launch. Uh, yeah, we yeah oh, yeah, that's right. I got launched. Yeah, well, I got Singer 17 on, or uh, Singer 11 coming off. Can you hit the terrain? Yeah, it hits the terrain right away. So I, I just. Uh, well, I think what I do is I, I bury it. So there's a there's a ridge right here. Uh, and I break line of sight, but I, I think it actually takes pulls lead on me into the terrain. Let's, let's see. <laughs> yeah. it's like, I can get you. I'll just go through the hill. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so then we took off, uh, or we, we egressed and then did a climb back up to altitude. Um, I can't. I, I wasn't sure where the cap would be exactly, so I tried to put us off to the side a little bit. Um, we just uh, said that we'd support air to air because we were both at like we were both still on the, the wing tanks. Let's see. So all this is going on. I press in. Oh yeah, I tell Moody to get some set to do his turn around, which is great, perfect. So we ended up like perfectly aligned here. I think I fire on this guy. Yikes. That's close. Yeah. I wanted to really be sure like that I could see the area visually and that there mm -hmm. weren't any friendlies nearby before I engaged. Oh, nice loft. And this is where Chris Rupp was like, ah, oh, it's bombers that you're firing at, but that's yeah, all right. Took them out, though. Oh, who got launched on by the SA-5? Is that BS? Yeah, I think it's me. Yeah. yeah you should take and see the defense there. Nice. These things are so easy to defeat. Yeah. yeah, you just put them in the beam and put out two chaff, just like AMRAMs and DCS. Then, yeah, we killed those, and then... Uh... As we are yeah, if I may, I wanted to talk about this one a bit. Definitely want to talk about this one. Um, okay, so there were they; these guys were split. Yeah, can we can we back up this a touch? So I guess, Chris, do you mind if we like jump in the middle of your flight? Yeah, do you mind if we jump in the middle of your flight and then you can show us the previous sets afterwards? But so you guys are leaving. Yeah, us let's home. just do that because yeah, yeah, since we're right here. Right here, so yeah. these guys are about unless you guys have to go to bed or something cold. He's not even here anymore, so Oh okay. okay. Is anyone Tob, is anyone from Chris's flight still here? Yeah, I'm here. 
All right. Yes, here. Um, All right. This is so the these are like thirty mile hit. cold shots. They're never gonna hit. Um, but pushes them out a bit. That's that's the first engagement, right? Uh, no, this is the last. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first ones were uh, yeah, they were too too long. So hot. we had some we had some sorting issues because now we have four discrete contacts spread wait, out. Wait, over what do you mean by first? Way. You mean th this is the very, this is when we're RTC being, but it's the opening end of that engagement. Yes. So those are the first shots from that engagement. Yeah. So those shots don't connect, but they split that flight up, and these 27s are coming in hot. Um, so Abe looks like you and Moody are sorted on that what, right guy, or left yeah, guy, cool. sorry. And I streak sorted on that guy. Like, my flight starts sorting as well. And I hear you call Fox on that guy, so I I stop paying attention to him. Like, I'm wa streak's watching him, and then you Fox, so I assume he's dead. Uh, and then I pick up I, the trailer, and I see everybody sorted on the other ones, so I keep pressing. Oi. I'm to this guy over here. Oof. Yeah, I was scared shitless. Oh, man. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. So, it's important, like... If you shoot an AMRAM to have a good idea, and it's hard with data link and with everything else going on, if you only have the leads plugged in, but it's really important to make sure that there's not a friendly uh, between you and the other guy, much less that close. Um, but Talb and Chris could have also helped themselves by, you know there's a bunch of friendlies behind you, don't get that close. If, like, don't don't take them. I, I didn't hear that there were as many friendlies as... Uh... Yeah, I say it's always hard when you're when you're like RTBing yeah. and everything, and then yeah. the last thing you expect is bandits over your base. Yeah, I, did, I, they, I, did they splash exactly. the? Um, did they splash the stars? No, stars? no, it's still over. All right, thank I God. I think it's still over here. Yeah, I see um, the drug. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were in the clear, and then people were talking about bulls calls, and I look, and it's like, oh wait, that's in front of us, and I think. Two or three is like, or four is like, hey, lead gimbals left, and yep, there's the twenty sevens. Um, can you can you show me uh, what which aircraft? I I think it's the Su twenty seven to the right. Um, it had uh, it was on Chris's uh, six at some point, but uh, maybe I'm mistaken. It it wasn't, but that's that's what I thought. It maybe kind now. of is getting yeah, hot yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was pretty defensive, so yeah. He was more, more, more like he was just evading a missile rather than. So I, I had you guys on data flowing south. Yep. And so I fox and that guy. Yeah, this was a clean yeah. shot. I just I shoot here because I don't I, yeah, you don't I think you're one. further away than I am, and he's, yeah, he's pointed right at me. Right. So I take a shot. Who hit him? Oh, Raz. And I slice I out. Yep. I hit him, and Moody finishes him off. Boom. And then we're going home. I think I got a kill stolen from me in, that, in there somewhere. And man, at one point I got a uh, when we were doing the air-to-air -air sets over the um, over uh, Belgrade, I, I got captured on a flanker that was like maneuvering NOE inverted <laughs> <laughs> on, on, the, on the pod. It was pretty funny. That's pretty. I great. assume he was like defending something and just yeah. like. Uh, so to someone from, uh, Plasma's flight, wanna narrate? Um, Where are you guys? Do you wanna, do you wanna switch to our first engagement? Yeah, not the, sorry, not I'm the, trying not to... the 235 yep. after the, the yep, departure. Yep, yep, yep. Let me, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, it's gonna be way so, back. So yeah, you guys come up and you're involved in this initial set. Oh, that was even further back. Yeah. Okay, so after that, you're out in front of everyone. So, yeah, that's when we see the 
the the bombers. They're locking you up. I was I was really eager to take him down, and uh, then Chris suggested that uh, the BS us will send his uh, his wingman to shoot them. But uh, <laughs> you know what happened afterwards. Bombers uh, fire you. Do they spike you, or is it just? Uh, oh, that's uh, how they end up coming uh, from the south. No, okay. we just we just had them on the FCR. Um, we were at first uh, our range was uh, really really big, 